guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Marie House and this is Healthy Body for the Mind. Now today's video, I just wanted to talk to you something that's actually really deep and also very important in my life. And that's how I start my mornings. Because in the past I've allowed my emotions to control how I felt in the morning. And sometimes if I didn't take control, it could leave me feeling really sad, um, really down and uh, just really start off the day with very low self-confidence, which then result with me trying to um, increase my confidence, doing things such as um, forcing myself to exercise, forcing myself to um, eat less food or eat overall really healthy food just so I could boost my self-esteem up. And that's not a healthy relationship with um, myself or with my food. So what I want to do is I want to teach you what to do to wake up feeling fantastic and in love with yourself. Now, I'll go through the couple of steps which have helped me. So every night before you go to bed, the first thing that you should do before you roll over is to actually write down um, what you're grateful for from that for the day that you just had. So three things that you're grateful for. For me, if I've seen a girlfriend, it could be I'm grateful for um, the love that I receive from my friend. If it's um, maybe going for a run and hitting a PB, it could be I feel grateful that I have such a fit, strong body that can allow me to achieve such physical um, accomplishments. Or if I have a really great work day, I feel grateful that I have the opportunity to follow my dreams and to do something that I care about. Um, so essentially three things, um, the more the better of course, but start with three just so you don't feel overwhelmed. And the ultimate, uh, ultimate importance of this is that when you wake up in the morning, I'm not kidding you, you actually feel really happy and positive. So it's really interesting that the first, like the, th the thoughts you have before you sleep can actually affect not only the quality of your sleep, but how you feel when you wake. So gratitude every evening, if you can. Um, you know, on top of that, you know, there are other fantastic things to encourage really good sleeping, such as turning off technology an hour before you go to bed. Um, which can be really difficult. I'm guilty of it. I enjoy watching some mindless TV shows to really just get me out of a work mood. Um, but I should, and I there was a stage where Joel and I were actually reading together and that was really, really good. So I do recommend, if possible, turning off technology now or before. Um, you know, I'm not saying that anyone is perfect and can do this, but that would be the best thing for a good night's sleep. But let's get back to how you wake up in the best mood possible. So gratitude the night before if you can. Um, also, when you wake up in the morning, the first thing I want you to do is think of something you're excited about. Think of something that makes you feel good. Um, whether that is something about the day ahead that excites you, or it could be something about yourself that you love, or it could be something about the day before that happened that makes you feel so good, or it could be just something in general. It's like, oh my God, I can't believe I get to wake up in this apartment. I'm so lucky. It can be, you know, the smaller the better because it teaches you to appreciate the small things in life. And, you know, that is the real success of life in my opinion, is when you can enjoy the small things, it means that no matter what, you can be happy and that's successful. Um, so, so I'll recap. Gratitude every night before bed. Wake up in the morning and instantly put a good thought in your head. Three is going to be um, doing more gratitude. Maybe writing about something that you're excited about. Um, maybe reflecting on the last week, what things that made you feel good in the last week that you can document. Um, think about your family, think about your friends, how much love you receive from them. Um, think about your health, your vitality. So that's another really good way to feel excellent about yourself. And the third thing is, I don't like to say what you shouldn't do. I'd like to more encourage things you should do. But the third would be meditation. Now meditation is absolutely important, I think, for overall mindset and well-being. And it's something that if you don't prioritize ASAP in the mornings, you may not get the chance to get it done in the day. So wake up, do your gratitude, and sit somewhere quietly and just be with yourself and meditate. 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes, 40 minutes if you're an awesome yogi, take five, two minutes, it doesn't even matter. But the fact that you're attempting to get into your meditative state 
and just to be with yourself and slow down is the best thing that you can do to start your day because you'll eliminate all of anxiety, overthinking, um, it may even help you make your first decisions for the day in a positive way which will then maybe progress to a fantastic day in the end. It might help you put on those gym gear and go for a walk outside. It might help you um, feel like a green smoothie just because you feel like feeding your soul and not your anxiety. So if I can recap, it's gratitude the night before, gratitude first thing in the morning, meditation. They're the three of the things that all I ask you to do to help you get into the best mindset possible to accomplish the day ahead. Now, if you have any other questions or concerns about starting your morning in the right way, I can do a whole article about it. And I encourage you to visit my website, healthybody.tv, and we can talk more about how to get you started in the best mindset possible. Lots of love, guys. I love talking to you, and let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Bye.